How to have multiple languages on Shopify store. My name is Elias and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more languages to your Shopify store. Now first of all there are two ways to do this. The first one is going to be the manual within Shopify but then I'm also going to show you an option that is going to allow you pay to basically automate the whole process. So to get started you will just have to click on settings on the bottom left right here and then on the languages you can actually start adding a new language to your Shopify store and as you can see adding translations to your store improves cross-border conversions by an average of 13% and it's also free and only takes minutes. Now generally if you have quite a big store it is actually going to take you quite some time to set everything up accordingly if you are going to use Shopify right here but still I want to show you how to do it. Now to get started just click on add a language right here and then you can for example let's say that I want to add German to this because I'm actually German so I will just add German right here and then we can actually get started translating everything. So we can translate right here and then we will basically have this menu right here where you can then translate everything the way you want to. As you can see you will have to localize everything then you will have to translate everything and then you can also customize it for different markets and so on. So, so right here for example you will have the title clothing and then you would have to change it to German which in this case would actually be Kleidung which you would just now obviously you would just have to use Google Translate for this or you could actually also get a professional to do this for you but generally with Shopify it is actually going to take you quite some time until everything is accordingly done. However they've recently also added this auto translate feature right here and as you can see you are about to use automatic translation for German this will be the first of your two free languages. After German you can auto translate one more language. So I will just click translate right here. And as you can see now they've also uploaded this and you would now have to continue this process for everything right here. So then you would have to go to products and then you will have to actually customize this. You will have to translate this. You can actually also use the auto translate feature but as you can see but as you can see right here Shopify will actually limit all of your auto translate features but I will just use it for now so I will use my less credit and then we as you can see Shopify is actually going to translate this site into German and then now to be fair as a German myself this translation isn't perfect and for example as for the title I would personally just leave this at the normal and I would just I would just name this oversized t-shirt same for German as well but other than that it looks pretty good in my, in my opinion. And if we're now going to save this and then view in store we can actually see that on the bottom on the bottom right here we can change the language to German and if we're now going to go onto the t-shirt which we've just uh, customized and translate we can see that this is actually German. Now we can actually also continue this process with other languages within Shopify. However for now I want to show you the, in my opinion, way easier option on how to get started translating your store. So to do that you will just have to head back to the Shopify dashboard and then on the settings you will have to navigate to apps and sales channels right here and then you will have to click on Shopify app store on the top right. And then you will just have to look for translation on the search bar. And right here you can then see tons of different translations apps which you can all use for your store. However the one that I've actually used in the past and the one that in my opinion is the best is going to be this weak lot thing right here. So just click on it and then just click on install and like this this is actually going to be added onto your Shopify store and you will just have to install the app. Right here you will then have to create an account for Weglot or Weglot I don't know how to pronounce them but just uh, sign up using a password right here and then you will have to choose all of the languages so our original language would be English in my case so this is probably also going to be English for most of you but you will just have to select the original language of your store right here and then for the destination language right here uh, you will have to select what kind of language you want your store to be translated to in my case I will once again go with German and if we wanted to, we could now even add another language to this right here. So I will just click on save. And then to get started, you will just have to click on activate right here. And then on the left right here, we will have to make sure that this is turned on. So I will just click on check the activation right here as it's successfully turned on right here. And then we will have to wait for one to two seconds. 
and then we can just continue this process right here. And as you can see, now it is basically done and your website is multilingual. So it basically will save you a lot of time to actually get started using Backload right here. And as you can see, visit your website and try the language button at the bottom right of your website. So I will just head over to the editor and on the bottom right right here, we can then actually select what kind of language we want to change our website to. In my case, I will just change it to German. And now everything is successfully updated automatically. However, we're still not done yet. Let me show you how to actually customize this right here. So to do that, you will just have to click on go to settings page and then we can actually activate everything. So as you can see right here, we can actually, first of all, edit all of our translations if we want to by clicking on the top left right here. And then we will basically have to log in onto our backlot account or weeklot. And then once we're signed in, we can actually get started editing our translations. So to do that, just click on manage translations right here. And then we can get started editing anything if something is not translated the right way. However, generally, once again, Weeglot does a pretty good job, in my opinion, when customizing everything. Now we can also manage our translations using the visual editor. So just click on manage translations right here, then click on visual editor. And now we can get started editing anything. And basically like this, it is a little bit more easier to get started with. Let's say if you only want to edit one kind of certain element of your website, let's say this thing right here, then it is basically easier to do that with the visual editor. Now with Weeglot, you will basically get tons of different customization options. However, there is still one feature which I would like to touch on. So just head over to merge translations right here. And then on the left, on the language switcher, we can actually get started. We can actually get started customizing our language switcher. So we just open the switcher editor right here. And then we can easily just edit anything the way we want to. We can first of all change the switcher position if we want to. However, we would actually have to do that with CSS. And then we can also change the, change the switcher style right here. So we can either use one of these templates. So let's for example, use this one. And as you can see, now we can just use the switcher template and which looks great in my opinion. However, you can, I will just save it quickly. However, you can also customize everything the way you want to. You can, for example, display the full name. So this would be English and Deutsch, which is German for German. And then you would just, and then you can also play around with this by setting a transparent background, for example, uh, reducing or, uh, or maximizing the switcher size right here. You can also head over to the other switcher settings. You can open the switcher on hover, only show switcher on some devices, uh, depending on the screen size and so on. Now that's basically it for customizing your store. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.